the chameleons are really a standout for me. Yeah, they're very fun. Yeah, and they're very chameleon-y. They actually disappear. Hi, and welcome to Forged in Eternum, the show where we talk about all things New World. I'm Rosie, the Associate Art Director on New World, and this is Darren. I'm Darren, I'm the Design Lead on Expeditions, and we're going to talk about Savage Divide, the expedition for our new territory, Elysium Wilds. I know Elysium Wilds is a big takeover for First Light. First Light was literally taken over by invasive growth, right? So we had to take the existing art and just completely take it over, but also make it look totally unique and feel unique too as well. So the expedition itself is um, composed entirely of beasts. Did that present any challenges on the art side? I think so because the beasts don't actually make anything. So the, that makes it easy because there's something to work with. There's, you know, their architecture, but they don't have that. So we had to use the invasive growth, which actually like the team worked really hard to make that look totally new and fresh, but also like it's part of the world of new world and, and um, but like it's taken it over from within. So, and then we also had to distinguish the different areas for each beast type. There's several different beast types. So we were gonna talk a little bit about the story. Yeah. Mahatmaran, the mammoth lord, has retreated in Savage Divide in madness and players have to go into Savage Divide to throttle the beast lord's power. Each of the beasts are represented in Savage Divide. It's the first expedition that is entirely composed of beasts which presented a lot of challenges from a design standpoint. Right. And an art standpoint. And an well. art standpoint. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about the art? Sure. We wanted to have something completely unique, but we also needed to make sure that all the different areas in the expedition looked unique from each other because otherwise players would just get lost. Um, and then also the invasion is, is totally organic. So there's a lot of organic you know, plants and, and bramble and invasion that's taking over. So we um, picked different room sections of the expedition and made them look more specific by taking, you know, parts of the different foliage and, and uh, flora that we'd made for the invasion itself. And so this is sort of like the culmination of the whole uh, in invasion look and feel. Every area looks different and has a different one of the plants that's taken over. Talking about the zone for and the expedition together, right? And the expedition being kind of a culmination of all the work that's gone into the zone. Exactly, yeah. And trying to build out each specific area in the expedition to have its own sort of postcard moment, if you will. Exactly, it's got, yeah, that Kodachrome moment where you can get a screenshot if you're not being attacked. If, if you're not being attacked by the beast. Yeah. Something that design and art have in common here is that there were multiple iterations, right? Oh, yeah. To get to these it's, points. Yes. It's, it takes a lot of work and a lot of collaboration to get these expeditions fun. And that ultimately, we want them to be fun. Do you want to talk about some of the unique, fun things about the expedition? Um, there are some unique things. So um, this has got a hub design, so there's actually multiple paths that are viable in this expedition, which is kind of new for us. Um, there's a secret that um, is findable in the expedition, which is entirely new. We haven't actually buried something like this before. Aside from that, I think the big standout is it's the first expedition that's actually just all beasts. That was a huge challenge from the combat standpoint. There was a ton of work that went into um, right. iterating on the both the combat of the individual creatures and the combat in the sense of the encounters and the density and which pairings worked and which pairings didn't work. So, and there's a lot of creatures in the expedition, and they're all new. Not only are there a lot of creatures like the gorillas, the mammoths, the armored dragon, um, the chameleons, but there are also variations of them on different elements. Um, we have um, also new technology for them to pounce down from ledges. So you'll see some of that in the expedition and it's also highlighted in the zone. I really like the, the throwing, the gorillas throwing. Uh, yeah. It's re that's really cool. Um, and the elemental attacks by the mammoths are really cool. Yeah. 
that the whole uh, the room where the gorilla is is like attacking you and charging up at the different spirit shrines. The boss fight. Yeah, the yeah. boss fight is amazing. Yeah, uh, both boss fights I think are um, really over the top. Mahatmaran, the Mammoth Lord boss fight, is um, also featuring some new technology where there's a secondary creature on top of him that's like lasering you down, and it, it's, it's just a crazy scene. What's your favorite uh, encounter? The chameleons are really a standout for me. Yeah, they're very fun. Yeah, and they're very chameleon-y. They actually disappear. Yeah, super cool. And um, and they are kind of a difficulty spike too. So you know it when you're you're fighting them. That was kind of a challenge getting it just hard enough, right, for players. The expedition should be a lot more approachable than previous expeditions. And the reason for that is that we're doing tuning across the board on the expeditions to make them more approachable. So I think in normal mode, um, players are gonna have a lot easier time getting in and, and through this expedition, which is intended. And that will be true for all expeditions in the game. We're gonna save the really hard gameplay for mutators. Um, we're also reducing mutators to three levels of difficulty in the expansion. And that is a big change. We're trying to um, reduce the number of different mutators so that players can get into games faster and easier. Well, talking about all the expeditions, what's your favorite of all of them? I have favorites in, in different ways, I, I think. Yeah, that's fair, I think. Yeah, Tempest Heart is um, part of the original story. And I've been around f for the whole, pretty good chunk of the development. Yeah. So like yeah. seeing that culmination in Tempest Heart was a really meaningful moment for me. Right. Yeah. Um, and then our last expedition, um, Imperium Forge, I, th I think is super fun. Um, I love part of the art uh, in the background with all the gears moving oh, and all yeah, the yeah, animation that. in the uh, background and the sound design on it is just phenomenal. How do you think that compares to um, the Savage Divide? There is such a, cool contrast between them that it's it's really neat to see like how different Imperium Forge is from Savage Divide. Yeah, right. That's something that we really wanted to get like different, totally different feeling, different temperatures, different sort of energy in each one. And we really want players to feel like they're getting something really new with the, uh, with the whole new expedition. That brings us to our community question. What is your favorite expedition? And if you enjoyed this Forge in Eternum, then you'd like us to keep doing them, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in Eternum. Bye. Bye. You have 45 minutes to go and push the influence. Uh, so you're going to want to go capture those towers, capture the fort, and generate as much influence as you can throughout the race. And whoever generates the most will win the race. Yeah.